What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Today I want to talk to you guys about Sony's rumored, now revealed, virtual reality headset codenamed Morpheus. This looks like it's going to be a pretty uh, high-end piece of hardware, pretty impressive specs on it, and uh, more than likely it's going to cost a pretty penny. Now this is compatible with the PlayStation 4, and it will do more than just uh, play video games. You'll be able to enjoy other forms of media on your system. And the way that the PS4 integrates other pieces of peripheral with this virtual reality headset is going to be really nice. There will be a link in the description for this story. I'm going to give you guys some of the specs and information about it now. PlayStation 4 gets virtual reality. Sony unveils its HD Project Morpheus headset. Sony's adjustable head mounted device is codenamed Project Morpheus not to be confused with Morpheus from the Matrix. It features a 1080p HD resolution display and a 90 degree field of view. The headset sensors track aware's motion in conjunction with a PS4 camera. The head tracking has been uh, designed to reduce queasiness. Prototypes must be attached to the PS4 with a 15 foot cord which means it is corded as of right now it is a prototype who knows if they'll be able to uh, you know make a wireless version of this but it, and it does work with the PlayStation camera so it's going to be easily tracked so who knows if that's going to really increase the uh, the experience but more than likely it will virtual perspectives will be simultaneously broadcast onto a TV screen so a as you play and as you see the people in your surrounding environment will be able to e experience this on the TV which is pretty awesome it is available to developers now, but Sony has not announced a release date. The battle of the consoles has just stepped up a notch after Sony unveiled its virtual reality headset designed especially for use with the PlayStation 4. The adjustable device is codenamed Project Morpheus and features a head mounted display with 1080p HD resolution and a 90 degree field of view, while sensors built into the headset track head movements. The Japanese firm unveiled the prototype device at the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco, but that did not reveal when the project would be on sale, when the product would be on sale, rather, or how much it would likely cost. The announcement follows rumors Sony's console rival Microsoft is similarly working on a suite of virtual and augmented reality systems for its Xbox One console. Multiple sources said to be familiar with Microsoft's plans told the Wall Street Journal the firm is developing a 3D virtual reality device and looking to file numerous patents. Shuhei Yoshida, president of Sony Computer Entertainment Worldwide Studios, unveiled the black and white headset at the annual gathering of game designers. He said Sony had been working on the technology for more than three years. The prototype is by no means final, said Yoshida. We will continue to work on this to improve it, but we believe it's good a good representation of how a PlayStation will deliver, deliver virtual reality. Anton Mikhailov, a senior software engineer working on Project Morpheus, said the current version of the technology must be attached to a PlayStation 4 console with a cord that's approximately 15 feet. In addition to seeing the view on the headset, a user's virtual perspectives will be simultaneously broadcast on a TV screen. The experience can be shared, and that's only going to allow it to spread, said Mikhailov. Quote, I think it's going to be the key. Once people see someone else interacting in virtual reality, they're going to want to put it on and try it next. Mikhailov continued that users will be able to interact with the virtual world display on their headset with the gesture, de gesture detecting PlayStation Move controller as well as the DualShock 4. However, he declined to say when the headset will be released or how much it would cost. Project Morpheus is available to developers with four games including a diving cage simulator called The Deep, a medieval combat game called The Castle, a sci-fi dogfighting game called EVE or E Valkyrie, and a VR rendition of the action adventure title Thief. Although Sony has released other head mounted display units, Project Morpheus marks the company's first foray into virtual reality with the PlayStation. It is similar to the Oculus Rift, a device currently in development by the California-based startup group Oculus VR. Both devices use head tracking to reduce queasiness when users move around a virtual landscape. So what does this mean? I think this is great. Uh, I've heard lots about the Oculus Rift. I've looked into this thing for probably the last 18 months. And I've been very pleased with uh, the direction they've been going with that particular peripheral. I've seen Doom on the Oculus Rift. I've seen some other games on it as well. This 1080p resolution rendition of uh, Sony's VR headset looks to 
take gaming by storm at least and especially now with Microsoft at least appearing to uh, have a rumored virtual reality headset coming out for their console it appears this is the, the direction that gaming is going to be going in the future I know that uh, you know a year or two ago we were really big into the 3D space, 3D TVs, 3D gaming, and it just never took off. It never really uh, was something that I was truly interested in. It's kind of like watching a 3D movie. It's a nice thing to do from time to time, but it's not a necessity. It's not something that I need. It's not something that you need. But the virtual reality gameplay is something that we've all wanted. Every every gamer in the world has wanted to to be in a virtual reality space or a holodeck. Since the since our minds have opened up that doorway of imagination, and it appears that now we are stepping into that that space. Uh, like they just said, they they already have a VR rendition of Thief, the game that just came out for PS3, Xbox 360, PS4, and Xbox One. So if they have a virtual reality rendition of that that they're getting out to the developers, imagine the kind of worlds that they're going to be creating for us to play in our own sandboxes. So once again, the specs of the Sony Project Morpheus headset are, it features a 1080p HD resolution display and 90 degrees full field of view, which is awesome. The headset tracks your uh, motion as well as it, it works in conjunction with the PlayStation 4. So the PS4 camera will work with the headset tracking your motion and your movement together, which is better articulation in whichever game world you might be in. So it's much better than say for instance a standalone VR headset because it's working with the PlayStation 4 camera and if you know how the PlayStation Move worked it worked with the camera so it's really awesome the head tracking has been adjusted to reduce queasiness which has been a, a major issue with the, uh, the Oculus Rift so uh, obviously they're really thinking about that it comes with a 15 foot cord which uh, I don't think is bad at all it's plenty of room for you to move around who knows if a future iteration will have uh, wireless and also whatever you see we broadcast on your TV. I think this is awesome. You guys let me know what you think about the Sony Project Morpheus VR headset. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.